Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play Royce, a game recently released on Desura, Steam and good old games uh, available for PC. They're working on the Mac and Linux ports right now as I'm speaking. And this is a god-like game, the giant game where you play giants. So yeah, it's a god game with a new twist, let's say that. Um, let's jump right into the game and I'll explain to you how this game actually works. So I played the tutorial, played like two rounds of the game and yeah, we can play an era with 30 minutes and if I unlock uh, enough I can play a bigger era which will last 60 minutes. So um, once you start an era the giants will awake from their slumber or the planet will awake once again and the giants will appear and you can form the planet to your liking and yeah our goal now is to finish an era with only one village which ha which has 175 prosperity I, we will do that we will do that um, I'll show you how that works so these are our buddies these are our giants this one is the forest giant the rock giant or mountain giant swamp and ocean giant so what are the ingredients to a planet water of course, we need an ocean, so let's create an ocean, right right here, right right in front of him. So he will now use his powers to dig an ocean. So um, let me go quickly, I will do that later, I'll just show you how this works. So you cl select um, a giant, simply by clicking on it or pressing 1, 2, 3, 4 to switch between them and then you can manipulate the world. So we now did that by pressing 1 and Q to create the ocean or just pressing the buttons. And the next thing we need for a village to work is a forest. So let's get a forest going. So we will now raise a forest with our forest giant. And as you can see, I can plant these everywhere but not when there's no water around. So we need the ocean. No water, no trees, right? So, let's raise the forest. And this is the place where our humans will start living soon. They will come out of their caves and live on this planet, apparently. So, uh, first things we need is food. Without food, they have no reason to come out. So, let's plant a food item, a, a, a plant. Let's, let's plant plants, fruit plants. Let's plant fruit plants, so. Okay, now they should, someone should be coming. There are uh, nomads roaming the earth. There, there he is, there he is. It's only one dude and he can found a whole village full of people. That's fine, that's fine. Anyway, so now we got our small village here. Um, they are not afraid of the giants. They actually like the giants, but they can start to disrespect the giants. But I'll come to that later. We got plenty of time. Anyway, so this is now a village. And if you click on the village, you will get, of course, the name. And you will get the information like how much food they use and how much food is actually available to them now it's two or five so they have five food around and uh, are using two of them this will gradually increase with time the more food they can have the faster it increases and whatnot uh, the wealth and the technology we'll get to that so mm, the first thing you noticed probably is the granary challenge started so if you a village is founded they will start a challenge in this case the granary uh, which is uh, for peaceful farmers and gatherers and will increase the food actually it will, will provide food but for it to provide more food you need 30 food in use so we need to make sure they have a lot of food available to them that's why we are domestic animals uh, we are placing domestic animals in their borders with our ocean giants so um, I will put some in the ocean so there will be fish and whatnot and they can start to gather these resources okay so as you can see around the place where I put the animals well there are now 26 food that's what's available to them and yeah yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much it for food uh, let's plant another um, tree another plant uh, let's plant it right here right right next to the animals so on the place where the animals are so I'm not sure if it will increase or simply replace them might simply replace them 
Anyway, uh, every item you have has a certain reach, and I will show you why you need that. So, um, so far so easy, but you need a lot of food, and the boilers will not grow forever. So, what we want to do, actually, is to create better plants. And how do we do that? So, you can use symbiosis, which means um, if there's a growth, it will have... Um, Plus 10 food if it's next to an apple tree, dandelion or a strawberry, which is a good thing. So uh, we will plant another fruit right here, right next to that one. And we will transmute that into a um, apple tree. But for it to become an apple tree, what do we need again? Yeah, we need the lesser food aspect, which our food giant has. He has the, wait, he, oh no, sorry, he has the leaf aspect. Um, they have more aspects, uh, but for that you need an ambassador. And I think that will happen soon, or should happen soon. At a certain point they will send an ambas ambassador, which will ride the giant, which is pretty awesome and looks pretty cute, to be honest. Um, I know I'm throwing all these things very fast at you, and I hope I make myself clear. But they got some good tutorials and they have their own wiki, which will also give you a lot of tips because it will get harder the further you progress into the game. So I hope I can finish a village with 175 prosperity. Um, I could go for the other finish. Wait, actually, I could, I can do two things. I could finish an era of 450 prosperity, but I'm not there yet. I need more cool things to do that. So um, I want only one village with 175 prosperity. So, what are we doing now? So, um, we still need the ambassador, but nothing's happening right now. I think we need more food. I don't know when the ambassador will appear, but let's add some growth aspect to this plant. Why not? So it will provide more food and Natura. Um, I'm not really sure what Natura does yet, but it's a value. And I think it influences the village in some sort. I haven't run into any problems with that yet, but I'm pretty sure I will soon. Okay, so this improved now. This is good. Really good. Oh, and there's the ambassador. Oh, wait, it's a female one this time. No. Male? Female? I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. It looks kind of female, but that could be a beard. I'm, I don't know. So, um... Now the tricky part, you only have one ambassador per village and you have to choose on which giant you want to put them. You can't switch them around. So I will put this one on my food uh, tree giant, which will give the fruit aspect. And I need that one for cool pineapples and whatnot. So you gotta really um, plan a little bit ahead. Anyway, so now we add the fruit aspect to this awesome berry bush, blueberry bush. And then I can transmute it into an apple tree. I hope so. Yes, I can. So, as you can see now, I can transmute it into an apple tree, which will, well, make it an apple tree. And making this much more effective. Now it gives plus 10 food if next to an apple tree or a strawberry. Yeah. So, that went well. Good. So. Now, um, I cannot transmute it further because I don't have the necessary um, spells unlocked. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, now we will give them some wealth. I mean, they love wealth, don't they? Everyone loves wealth. So, let's add some precious minerals right onto the border. And let's see what we can do with that. So, we finished the granary challenge. Yeah, we did. It gives us 15 food. And uh, with, if there's an animal within the borders, it will give 15 food. So maybe this was not the best way to put that bush, but because now there's, there are no animals within the border. That was not very smart now that I think of it. Uh, I don't think the area is enough, so let us, um, let us add the animals here and hope that there's still enough. Um, it's still re no, it does not reach it. It's too far away. But it still improved the um, apple tree. 
because it gives plus 8 food and plus 2 natura for each animal nest next to it. So if I would plant another tree over here, or a berry bush and another berry bush, I could transmute it to another tree, which will give me more awesome things. You know what? I will actually do that right now. I will now plant another... Wait, is it here? No, there's the animal. So let's plant a fruit here. Give it the fruit aspect. Um, now I'm at 12 and I can transmute it into an apple tree, which is now at 21 because an animal nest is very close. So to transmute the beaver or the rabbit uh, to a rabbit, I need the lesser herd aspect or the lesser hunt aspect. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the ocean giant has that and I need a swamp ambassador to unlock it. So, I don't have that. That's really a shame. Uh, anyway, where was I? Yes. Yes, I can... I would make an apple tree out of this one. What about this? Can I transmute it with the... Nature is looking promising. Yes, symbiosis. So... Uh, plus one animal range for each other micro within animal range. Takes up three times. Hmm. N not really sure what that means, to be honest. I'm, I'm still figuring the game out. I played like three or four hours already. And I'm still trying to figure out. I could actually plant a fruit in the ocean. And I'm now really curious what that fruit might be. So, let's see. Um, we're not doing bad on the food count. We are at 89 food. And prosperity is 62. So, we really gotta work on that. And I hope they will start a new project soon. Which I can help them with. Oh, now we got... That's weird. What's that? Uh, just some wood. That's weird. Ow, kitty. Come here, kitty. Kitty wants to say hello. Say hello, kitty. And I'll be gone. Anyway, where was I? Yes, yes, yes. We want to bring that village to prosperity. Anyway, let's give them some wealth. Um, I think... What happens if I add... No, I cannot add precious materials into the water. Uh, would have been weird. So... Let's replace that. I mean, it will basically destroy this bush. Um, you can always make villages bigger to increase prosperity. If you have enough prosperity, new nomad will spawn and settle in your village. Yeah, there's one around and I hope he does not settle right here. That would be really annoying, to be honest. You know what? I will raise a forest over here and maybe he will... Wait, actually I will create a swamp over here. And let's hope they settle here and not right next to our village. That would be annoying because we need that space to make it bigger. Yeah, you got limited space left. That sets your planet. I haven't shown you, right? So, so the controls are pretty easy. You just use the arrow keys to zoom in, out, or turn right and turn left. Or you do it with the mouse wheel. And you can press the left mouse button to move around. Yeah, I know, that's a bit confusing. Or, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. So the controls are pretty easy to handle. Nothing too fancy. And let's see if a villager actually spawns over here. Let's give them some food. Or some herbs. No, let's give them some food. Here. Add some food right here. That's fine. So, uh, kitty, you're right in front of my screen. I cannot see anything. No, don't... Don't, don't play with the mouse cursor. I know, it's tempting. Ah, uh, kitty. Kitty, stay, yeah, stay there. That's good, that's good. Okay. Anyway, so, how do we make that bigger? Is there a project currently going on? I uh, don't think so. Yes, a swamp village has settled. No, don't play with the screen. Kitty, no. Cooper, stop it. Okay. So, yeah, Greenshire. So, this is a swamp village, and I think they're pretty strong in technology. Um... We might actually, that might actually be useful for improving our, uh, oh, a mill challenge has started. Yes, and a tool chip challenge has started. What? Okay, uh, we got a tool shop challenge over here, which needs a little bit of wealth and a little bit of technology. I think that might be pretty easy. Um, come here, you give them some precious metals. Some people love precious metals. And what do you want? You need much more food and technology, so... 
We can do that actually by... Hmm. Leaf aspect, which will upgrade a plant and technology in Natura. So let's upgrade all our trees here with some uh, Natura leaf aspect, which will give us technology. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, how much food do we need? Uh, oh, we need more food. Oh, that's a tricky one. That's a real tricky one. I cannot upgrade these. I need to, so I need the lesser hand aspect. Let's go for beavers. They give more wealth the more natural there is within their animal range. Let's do that. Um, I hope they sell your food then. So what do I need for them? I need a lesser hunt aspect. Which one has, has this lesser hunt aspect? Is it the forest giant? I don't think so. Oh, it is. So we need, oh, we need a desert ambassador. Damn you, I don't have a desert. So, what about herd aspect? Ooh, upgrades an animal with a herd aspect. That's also fine. So, can I upgrade this one with a herd? Yes. So, we will put the swamp ambassador on our ocean giant. That's good. That's good. So, what are you guys doing? What are you up to? Okay. Need a little bit of my technology and a little bit more of wealth. Nature's looking great. Yes. Okay. Um, add more precious materials over... Hmm, material? Yeah, let's add some precious materials over there. Um, let me have a look. So they cannot reach wealth and they cannot reach technology. Oh, they can reach technology. That's good. So I just gotta wait and the tool shop will be fine. So I don't have to worry about them right now. That's good. So I can go over here and Worry about them. Go into the water. Have a bath. Have a bath, giants. Anyway, where was I? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I wanted to upgrade all these things. So, oh wait. They still need an ambassador, don't they? Or, or do I just need to finish that one? Really not sure right now. Really not sure. Maybe I get it when I finish the challenge? Let's, let, let's see. Let's see. Let's not wait for it. Okay, anything I can do. So they move their border. I can plant more trees and animals and whatnot. So, add some animals right here. Yeah, that's fine. Because we can upgrade these soon. I like that fact. I really do. I really do like it. So they got a little bit more food. That's awesome. What does help uh, if blueberry was is within the range? So... Yeah, let's add two more fruit plants here. It's a very food-heavy town. I see that now. Maybe not the best idea to improve, but we need a lot of food. And Oh, yes, we need technology. Okay. I wanted to upgrade the plants for the technology aspect, didn't I? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Add more here. Wait. Oh, yeah, the swamp ambassadors appeared. Finally. Okay, fruit aspect, technology, add more. Wait, why can't I add technology to this one? A plant, yeah. I cannot upgrade this one. I could upgrade this one, so... Let's do it with this one too. Mm. Actually, do they need wealth? I don't think they need wealth at all right now, so... Let's get our mountain giant and... It was technology, right? Yeah, technology. Let's add advanced materials, uh, minerals on this spot. That's fine. Okay. And after that, over here. So I hope they can reach it. Ah, it has a 30 second cooldown, right? Okay, so you move over here. Ah, uh, I'm struggling with the time right now. Okay, I got enough food. Now I gotta really manage the technology. Hmm. Come to think of it, maybe, maybe, but just maybe. Okay, let's wait with the Swamp Ambassador to put him on the herd. Or do they give technology? No, they don't give technology. That's fine. Ah, guys, 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 guys. What to do? What to do? Okay. So... I'm not trying to raise technology, which is looking really grim. Um, 
I could use it with the lesser reaction aspect for more technology. What do I need for the lesser reaction aspect? Uh, I think that's... is it here? Lesser reaction aspect. No. Is it this one? Oh, I need a forest ambassador, but I don't have one. And I cannot put him down, can I? Wait. A giant can only pick up an ambassador if he has at least has the least ambassadors. Yeah, yeah, I cannot. I cannot do this. What if I get him a swamp ambassador? Nothing. Okay, we really gotta find a way to improve technology to raise the prosperity. So let's add some more advanced minerals over here. I really hope that's far enough, and they still reach it. I'm at 14. Let's see. Nope, too far away. Too far away. I think we need to increase their border size or something. Ah, what a shame. What a damn, 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 damn shame. And I can cannot transmute it. The lesser crystal aspect. Hmm. Okay, let me have a look. The crystal aspect. Which one is that? Hmm. Huh. Forest ambassador. Yes, I remember. So, lots of forest ambassadors does not help at all. Uh, what do I unlock with the Swamp Ambassador? The Toxic, which will add tech to plants. Hmm. Can I add two aspects? Wait, I already have two aspects, don't I? The Potent Leaf Aspect. So I don't know if I can add more. Oh, maximum two. No, I cannot add more. Maximum is two. So, what's on this place? There are the animals. Yeah. You know what? I will now go for more minerals over here. Hope this helps a little bit. Wait, still too far away? 40 technology. How do I get... How the frick do I get 40 technology now? This is now a little bit tricky. It's puzzly. It's puzzly. Huh. I really have no idea... Uh, I could plant herbs, they give also technology. So what happens if I, instead of this place, the... If I plant herbs here, how much... Do it here, do it here. That's not very effective. Wait, no, 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 no. If I... Wait, they have the added animal. Yeah. God damn it. I'm, I'm, I'm now a little, little bit uh, buffed. Buffled, whatever that name is. Okay, let's replace that one just to test it out and see how much tech herbs give. And maybe I can upgrade the herbs. Who knows? And get more technology going. Oh, they give actually quite a lot of technology. That's cool. That's really cool. But it is not helping me right now because it's out of the border. So I need to replace something else. What could I replace, actually? I could replace this one. Yeah, I will totally do that. If the cooldown is over. God damn it, Weasel. Pull yourself together, man. Ah. So we got a lot of food, that's nice. But we still need technology. And we might run out of time to get that soon enough. Not a big fan right now. Not a big fan. So... I cannot upgrade these, right? Hmm. What about the hunting aspect? So I can upgrade these because I still have a lot of... Um, still have a lot of... Um, place, room here. So, the bear fish gives a small amount of wealth, but their homes provide a boost for wealth and tech depending on diversity. Okay. So, the lesser exotic aspect. Wait, do I already have the exotic aspect? I'm not sure, guys. I'm really not sure. I'm trying to figure that out. What? Where's the... Oh, there it is. Forest Ambassador. Still the Forest Ambassador. <sighs> Which upgrades mineral. Adds tech and all. Mm, damage in his, uh, in his, uh, any, any armies in its path. You know what? Let's give him. Let's give him the Ambassador. Maybe I can upgrade technology a little bit. So, I wanted to plant herbs here. Okay, let's plant them here. 
That's fine with me. Do it. 450. 440. Brace it. Okay. Only five? Why was that one so high over there? I really don't know. I even screwed up the balance. Wait, come back. You come back here. You add some advanced minerals for tech. Okay, I'm stuck now. I'm really stuck. The workshop challenge has started. What do you guys want? What do you guys want? I don't know it. More food, more wealth, more technology. I don't have time for that shit. I really don't. So, you come here. Come here, come here. Get the ambassador. You get the ambassador. So... Yeah, I know, the project is running out of time and I don't think I can finish it fast enough. I really need to... I can remove some food so I can maybe fulfill that. Let's hope I'm right. Let's hope I'm right and I'm, I can do this fast enough. Okay, come here. Now that we got the seismic aspect, we can upgrade minerals. And I hope this gives me more, more technology. I really do. I really want to finish that. Uh, only five minutes left. Uh, this might be actually really close. 175 and then 146, so... That was not very effective, only a little bit. Okay, we need to replace something. So we get the technology bonus. If I remove that, this will... Yeah, plus eight food for each animal nest next to it. And there are two next to it, yeah. Would be a very bad idea. Okay. What about... Well, we got a lot of food, but we don't got enough of anything. Okay. I don't, I don't see any other way right now. I'm a little bit flabbergasted how to solve this problem, so... Yeah, let's get rid of this one, add some technology. I really want to finish this one, but I think... I don't have enough time to get technology in use, so... Really not sure here, guys. Really not sure. Okay. So we're at 35, which is awesome, and now I can add the seismic aspect also to it, please. How much does that give me? 21, we are at 38. Damn it, we need more. Much, much, much more. And they're losing food, which is also a bad thing. I can't get rid of any food. I can totally forget that. Totally forget that. So I gave one a, yeah, the seismic activity, which does not help me at all again. This is, this is highly annoying, highly annoying. Yeah. So, you basically need more villagers to upgrade the upgrade their toxic aspect, the all these aspects. So you need more villagers for that. And you can I don't think you can build up a giant village with only one village and yeah, I don't think two will cut it this time. So, I might go for three next time or even four so I have many abilities left. Yeah, 775. I'm not nearly there. I, I'm nearly there. So it's even more frustrating for me. <laughs> Yay. So. What a damn shame. What a damn shame, to be honest. I don't have enough technology at all. So 41 seconds, and the game is soon over. And when the game is over, your giants will fall asleep. Which basically means they will close their eyes, get very, very, very tired, and fall asleep. And sleep until the next round, next era of humans roaming the planet. So, actually, damn shame, because I didn't unlock anything. My strategy was not very smart, let me tell you. So, let's collect the cast here. And I don't have any idea how I could solve that problem right now. No idea, whatever. Yeah, the mill challenge failed. It failed. What a damn shame. So... What happens if I plan... Herbs... Where? Here. Let's plant them here. 
Just for just for funsies. Maybe that was the right answer at all. Overall, I don't know. I don't know what. Wait, I could, I could transmute it to a strawberry. I don't want a strawberry right now. I want to see what herbs do, so I know better next time. Okay. No. Now it's a dandelion. Um. Plus eight tech and four natura. Oh, I see. Let me guess. If I now put a plant here, it will give a lot more technology, which would have solved my issue if I knew. Right? Let's see. Yeah. Now I'm at 13. Eh, still not enough. It's without reach of the village. And I think it needs to grow food wise to. Increase its border size. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it. 45 seconds left. They will now fall asleep, and we will have to start a new round. Uh, move over here. Show yourself to the viewers. So, I wonder if they have names or just just ocean giant, rock giant. If they have like internal names, that would be interesting. Really interesting. They're so cute. Anyway, this was Royce a complete error of 30 minutes and I hope I helped you out to understand the game a little better to get you started and as usual the link to the game is in the description below and to the page of the developer and whatnot and thank you so much for watching I'm Weasel I'm out and I hope to see you around bye